Hello, hello, friends. Happy Wednesday cook up time. All right, today we're gonna make a Power Bowl. And if you watched last week's Wednesday, I made chicken quesadillas using the new Portuguese seasoning and Spanish rice. And today, as you know, my videos are recorded. So today's the day after that. I'm actually using those leftovers from dinner last night to make today's lunch. So we're gonna make a Power Bowl, okay? By the way, are these bowls not like the cutest thing ever? These are our nesting bowls. This is the four cup. Uh, they come two, four, six cups and they all stack inside each other. I love them. Great for mixing, stirring, baking, but I love them for doing my power bowls. So what I've done is I'm just grabbing some cabbage using my produce saver, of course. I've got some Napa cabbage here, um, but whatever's in the fridge, you've got some romaine, you've got some greens whatever kind of greens or cabbage you've got. So I'm seeing power bowls are, you know, more and more popular. Probably a few months ago, I was on the go. Uh, so I stopped through Tim Hortons drive-through and I grabbed one of their power bowls. Uh, it was okay. It was not bad. The chicken tastes really processed, but oh my gosh, it was so expensive and so salty. So, my gosh, if you can like pack this on the go, like if you um, have any leftovers, you can make up some power bowls to take to work or if you're on the fly, you're gonna save a lot of money. Uh, power bowls are good, but she, some of these uh, restaurants are charging a ton of money for them. Okay, so I just filled it up with some cabbage here and then whatever veggies you've got in the fridge. So I've got some red pepper. I'm just gonna slice some of that up. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so we'll put some red peppers in here. I've got some cucumber. I'm gonna do a chunk of that. I usually cut around the seeds. I don't, not that you have to, but uh, I like, I don't love the seeds sometimes. So how's everybody doing, by the way? Drop a comment. Let me know if you like Power Bowls. Let me know if you watched the video last week. If not, go back uh, to last week's video. So there we go. We've got some peppers, some cabbage, some cucumbers. Now we're going to use the leftovers from last night, okay? So last night, I did pulled chicken in my steamer, and I used the new Portuguese seasoning. So this comes in a sachet. Uh, but I'm using this a lot. So the sachet, you would dump the whole thing on a rotisserie chicken. I'm using like a teaspoon, a tablespoon, little bits here and there. So instead of always having an open sachet, I took one of my old Epicure jars and just filled it up. So I took the sachet, filled up one of the jars, cut the packaging and just taped it on. <laughs> so that's the Portuguese seasoning. I flavored some chicken breast, did it in the steamer and then pulled it apart. And then I did up our Epicure Spanish rice. It comes in a sachet. Literally 16 minutes in the microwave, it was done. And we layered it and we made chicken uh, quesadillas in the oven. Well, here are my leftovers, okay? So I am going to take some of that rice for my power bowl. Okay, so I'll take a nice big scoop of the rice. And then I'm going to take some of the chicken here. Get some protein in this bowl. Okay, and then we're gonna make a dressing. So we have lots of options when it comes to dressings. Actually, I'm just gonna use this, I think. So there's only a little bit. There's only just like a good scoop full of sour cream in here. I'm gonna take so, a scoop of sour cream. I'm gonna take a scoop of mayonnaise. So I've got some mayonnaise here. Just gonna mix that up. Sour cream mayonnaise. You could skinny this and use Greek yogurt if you prefer. And I'm just gonna take some of that Portuguese seasoning. So this is why I like it in a jar. I can just add a little bit here and there. And oh my gosh, this is so yummy, this flavor. So I'm just gonna mix that up. Got a little extra, I'll put it in the fridge. It'll definitely get used up. Okay, here we go. And there's my dressing. And just for fun, I'm going to grab my everything bagel topper because I'm obsessed with this. Add that on. There we go. How does that look, guys? 
<laughs> and this cost me like a fraction of what those power bowls cost at the restaurant. So whether you make this the night before with the leftovers, pack it in your lunch and take it to lunch with you guys. Or if you're like me, I work from home. Um, I love working from home. My office is right there. I just scoot over to the kitchen, pull open the fridge. What's the leftovers? And there, in a matter of like five minutes, I just whipped together this delicious power bowl. All right. Thanks for joining me on this week's Wednesday Cooking with Carrie. I'll see you back here same time, same place. Bye, guys.